The cool route should be starting soon. Once it's done, I'll be able to access the chamber below Hikaru's throne. And Ether. Outlander, the chief awaits you in the arena, past the throne. <laughs> This must lead to the arena. It's another part of the ruins. Turned into a fighting ring. Look at them all. They know it. Aloy. It seems you've had to move mountains to bring the Sky Clan to heal. Literally. Catalo helped. Yes. Takote reprimanded for all the clan to see. You both served well. But now the cool route is at hand. Some have come to compete, others to bear witness. They know Regala will come for me. I'll do whatever it takes to hold up my end, as long as you remember yours. So what's the plan? Katalo. There are only two viable ways to attack the arena. Through the throne room you just passed, and by the trail on the north end. We've set up barricades at both. But if Regala means to assault the cool route with machines, she will have to attack by the trail. You will join our defenders there. Hold the line, and I'll have my marshals. You will be free of my service and receive your reward. Make whatever preparations you must. Once the cool route begins, you must see it through. Let's get this over with. Good. You'll find Decca at the North Barricade with the rest of our defenders. Strike true as the ten. I'll see you when this is done. There's armor in that chest. Take it. It might prove useful. We'll assist Marshal Catalo in guarding the chief. We all have our orders. We'll see the cool route through. The challengers will soon enter the arena. Join Decca at the North Barricade. <laughs> the cool route will start as soon as the chief gives the order. Ten guide you. The marshals shall it's clear stand Hikaru again. Afraid of this cool is the honor of the fallen marshal. The blades of the A battle's coming. Regal is no soft card. Feel it in the air. Can you handle this fight? Walking on. Hey, Mr. Kote, this is Look, comrades, the chief's champion. What an honor. Mr. Kote fixed his ego before coming here. <laughs> Karo's defenders should be at the end of this trench. And look, we are not alone in this fight. Focus on the machines. Take them down, and Regala's forces become no different from our own. Yes, Chaplain. Watch each other's backs. Dismissed.
Our soldiers are ready. They will defend the cool route from below. But from above... Not bad. Where did you get it? One of our squads ripped it off a fallen machine. The honor is yours. Regala may have her tricks, but you will show her our teeth. The cool root is upon us! Our struggle demands new blood! New leaders! Release the quarry! Challengers, approach! Take down a machine shall be named Marshall. Remember the ten. Strike from the air as they did and seize your glory.
weapon! If I can draw that thing close, open fire!
the extra stock for later. This isn't finished! I'll be back with everything I have! And all who stand with Hakaro will be run red. At attention. You fought well. Proved yourself against enemies both metal and flesh. I name you all, Marshal. Your first order is to secure the arena from any remaining rebels. Go. I failed. I should have finished Regala. But now she'll be back with more machines. Stronger than ever. I'll do what I can to help. No, you've done enough. Far more than our bargain called for. When we first met, you spoke of your true mission on which all depends. I wasn't certain if I believed you then. But I believe in you now. So leave me. And get to your task. What will you do? Tend to the wounds. What you need is there. Take it. Your deeds today will be remembered like those of the Ten. Ether. Time to go home. Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master override activated. Restoring Ether subordinate function to original code. Got it. Now to get this back to Gaia. The vision from the growth have changed. The words of the ten are the future. The visions throughout the grove are different now. 
And this one? It... just appeared. Is this your doing? Visions have changed. That's the one that inspired Chief Hakaro. More testimony of the old ones. Hear now the words that reunited a people. Following the tragic events of the war, Anne Faraday, the chief architect of the reconciliation effort, addressed a nation in need of hope. If we look into the future, the lens of the recent past, our fears loom. Wars waged against machines, scarcity of food and water, storms that drive us from our homes. But true courage means facing those fears with conviction instead of cynicism. Leading the peacekeeping effort with these brave men and women, these marshals of the new Southwest, has strengthened my conviction that when we are united, we can overcome any threat. Join me. Join us in that conviction as we strive for a nation and a world without want or war. Reporting for duty, Commander. I'm coming with you. But Hikaru needs you. Because of you, he has new marshals. And a rallying cry the clans cannot ignore. So I will stand with you on your mission. Give whatever is left of my life. It is what I choose. How can I say no to that? So, there's someone who wants to join us. I need you to meet him in the foothills and guide him the rest of the way. Will do, Aloy. Go to the mountains, west of Plainsong. A friend of mine will meet you on the ascent. I'll join you when I can. A friend of yours? Should be interesting. Blood and steel All shall right. make today. I need to get Ether back to Gaia. Seems like capturing it did something to the other holograms, too. Might be worth checking out. Seek for honor. Everything that happened, I feel like I need to do more. For the clan, the tribe. Regal we held off for Gala. <coughs> it was worth a shot. Let me take a look at you, stranger. Is this easy? Nice. Well, they definitely don't sound like rebels. Maybe if I follow their tracks, I can find out where they're headed. I can probably use my compass to follow the tracks those riders left behind. I 
this? Oh, uh, you're not waving a hammer around, Aaron. Try a gentler touch. And yeah, my big sausage fingers don't really do gentle, okay? Bring it back. Trace the line. To your right. Other right. I just saw it. It's the one Aloy found up north. Gotcha. They call it a, a concussion beat party or something. Yeah, now that's music. Aloy! Erend, you're all better. And you're here. Varl said you might need some help after all, doing uh, complicated things. We still have much training to do, of course. One does not become hunter in a day. Each seed grows at a pace of its own. Doesn't mean it won't bloom. You should know your Tanakh friend arrived. Katalo. I heard their warriors drink people's blood. I want to sleep with one eye open. I think he's seen enough blood for a lifetime. I showed him to one of the rooms. He seems to appreciate the privacy. Uh, looks like you've got things under control. I should get this to Gaia. Right. We'll keep on training. Catch up as fast as we can. I'm seeing glyphs in my dreams already. Well, while you've been off gallivanting around, I've been working with Gaia to find out more about the land gods. So from where I'm standing, you're in need of some training. Come along. Uh... Oh, uh... Okay. The old ones fed off livestock a little too much for my liking. Some of them ate more like the Taru. Welcome back, Aloy. When you're ready, please merge Ether with me. Afterwards, I must discuss an important matter with you. So, what did you want to discuss? While you were away, I received an unusual transmission on my dedicated Eleuthia frequency. Eleuthia? That's one of the sub-functions you couldn't detect before. Yes. The transmission occurred so slowly that at first it seemed like an accidental blip of data amongst background static. Once I noticed this irregularity, it took some time to collate the complete message. Where does it lead? To a mountain to the northwest of this facility. A word of caution, Aloy. It is possible this transmission is genuine. It is also possible it is being broadcast by someone, or something else. You don't think it's actually Eleuthia? I am uncertain. What's SOS? It is an old world code. A distress signal. A desperate plea for help. All right. I'll go to the coordinates and check out the source of the transmission. All by yourself? Ha! No way. I included Erend and Varl in this briefing via their focuses. I concur that you should not investigate this alone. What if it's a trap? Of course it could be a trap. But if it really is Eleuthia, then it's in trouble, and I need to bring it back. Don't worry. I'll be careful and... We're coming with you. <sighs> Fine. Go grab your things. We'll wait for you at the west exit, in case you need to upgrade your gear. Unlock another room in the main living area. 
locked up in here. Good to know. I'll check it out when I can. Looks like someone's made this space their own. I see you found Varl and Zoe's room, Aloy. I believe they wanted private accommodations. I see. We crashed at the Battle for Meridian. I down that that was enough. <laughs> there she is. You ready to head out? Let's go. Look at us. Three battle-hardened badasses forging into the unknown. This ought to be good. <laughs> uh, this distress call had to be up a really steep mountain, huh? takes the keg. Burl, see if there's anything over there? On it. We'll check out the battlefield. Let's start with that zenith. Well, there are obviously more zeniths than we know about. I can't believe you fought one of them. Almost didn't make it. Snowgrunt, whatever the rebels did, it took down her shield. But why was she here? I can access her last communication file, but I'll use my focus to scan the battlefield too. What about that crazy weapon the Zenith had? It looked like she can make it come and go at will. But it's gone now. Yeah. Well, go do your thing. I'll wait here. Osserum with a focus. Looks like he was sending data on the weapons somewhere else. Ah! Ah. The weapon's still hot. I need to know how it worked. But I'll have to check on it once it's cooled off. Looks like the rebels camped here for a while. 
Are they watching this area? The Spectre had instructions to assist recovery of the asset. I wonder what this asset is. All right, I think I have an idea what happened here. I better get back to Errand. All right, she who sees the unseen. What did you find out? This was a carefully planned attack. I found camping gear up there. The rebels must have been staking out this place for at least a few days. They were waiting for the Zeniths to show up, all so that they could test that weapon. The Zeniths have a personal shield that makes them invulnerable, but somehow the weapon got rid of it. The Osirum that was operating it was sending data on it somewhere else. It was probably just a prototype. I've known tinkers that do that. I'd do a little trial run before breaking out the real thing. Well, I guess it's still a work in progress, if it blew up. She was searching for something she had lost. Her drone had instructions to recover something called the Asset. The Asset? Is that the uh, sub-function thing that you said could be here? The Luthia? I'm not sure. Come on, let's go talk to Varl. Something tunneled straight down into the mountain. Looks recent. Whatever it was, it must have been powerful. That zenith the rebels killed was looking for something called... the Asset. I don't know what it is. But my guess is it's somewhere down there. All right, so we head down. Erend, stay here and stand watch. That zenith isn't the only one of its kind. I don't want to be caught by surprise if the others show up. Contact us by focus if you see anything. Okay. If any trouble shows up, I'll call you. Let's go. There's some kind of old world ruin down here. You said the Zeniths have their own backup of Gaia, right? <laughs> Yeah, from the Proving Lab. So maybe they were after Eleuthia. Looks like some Found kind of data center. Spot, so it sent the distress signal. They might be able to access... Maybe. This was a Far Zenith research lab. It looks like a lot of data was beamcast from here recently. From that device nearby. So I've never seen a gone. transmitter like this before. If it was ever here, then probably. But then why were the Zeniths still searching for the asset? Let's keep looking around. So, exploring another far Zenith ruin. 
At least this one doesn't seem to have giant killer machines. Or anything you can blow up. Zenith, probably discovering amazing things for their own benefit. Yeah, that sounds about right. This place is huge. Some kind of storage room, maybe. Maybe the asset is in here somewhere. If it is, somehow the Zenith couldn't find it. Let's look around. A control console. To access the storage units. Can it tell us if the asset is in one of them? Well, let's find out. 230, 236 containers in storage. Please enter the container number. like ice. Must have cut this from her head. But why? Hello, hello, Elizabeth. Uh, apologies, I don't know what else to call you. Um, my name is Beta. I'm afraid I, I must be brief. I only have a few minutes before my keepers discover I'm missing, and I still need to remove this implant. I had hoped to find shelter with you, but... If you're viewing this, I... I may be dead. Be careful when you take on Farsiness. They are ruthless, and they have Aluthia, Artemis, and Apollo now. But at least I don't have the Gaia Colonel to merge them with. must succeed. Oh, this was all for nothing. Good luck. And goodbye. So she's... She's still alive. We need to get her back to... Oh, shit. They can fly. Aloy. Aloy, can, can you hear me through this thing? What's going on, Erend? Two of those spectral things just fell out of the sky. One of them is heading down towards you. The other one's waiting up here. We're coming up. Stay in cover until I get there. You got it. Get her to cover in that room. Whatever happens, she stays with us. I'll protect her. I should prepare before the Spectre gets here. I can't let it get through to Varl on the clone. Ooh, ugly one, aren't you?
things quick. Okay, Aloy. Yeah, I'm heading up top. Stay down here with the clone for now. Got it. I'll follow once the coast is clear. up top and deal with that other specter. I just hope Aaron stays in cover. Aloy! Ah! Aaron! And the specter's dug his seals in. He's got me pinned down. Hang tight. I'm almost there. Just hurry. Put. I'll see what I can do. The second you need me, I'm there. The Spectre's not budging from that spot. I might be able to sneak up on it if I stay out of its line of fire. A heavy weapon. That could help. Shields down! It's on the move! Hello? 
You gonna join us? Keep them coming! She's... Look, I swear I'm not drunk, but right now I'm seeing double. Long story, but it'll have to wait. She needs a healer, but we need to get her back to the base immediately. Right. Yeah. Well, what are we waiting for, then? You two go on ahead. I need to take another look at that weapon. I can figure out how that thing works. Maybe the Zenas won't be so invincible after all. Oh, my pack's full. I can get it for my stash later. No. Damn it. Well, it's better than nothing. I need to get the weapon fragment to Gaia to analyze. If we can replicate it. Maybe we'll have a way to defeat the Zenus. I should check on the clone, too. Varl, where's our hey, guest? Lord. Glad you made We're it back We're in the maintenance okay. corridor below the control room. She panicked after waking up and stumbled down here. I thought it best to wait for you. I'll talk to her. Hello? It's, uh, it's Beta, right? My name's Aloy. What's wrong? Is it your injury? Simulacrum withdrawal syndrome. I don't understand. Sudden removal of a neurologically integrated data device. The brain, especially the cerebellum, goes into a kind of sensory freefall. Everything real feels unreal, distant. Is there anything that can help? Do you have a focus to spare? It's, it's primitive, but I can make it work. Yeah. Booting up. So, uh, hey boy. I suppose you want information. About you and the Zeniths? Yeah. Why are they here? What do they want? How did they get you? But let's start at the beginning. I'm guessing they faked the destruction of their ship a thousand years ago? That seems consistent with their behavior. They wouldn't want to be followed. So far, Zenith established a colony world after all. Yes, for a few hundred years, but it didn't last. 
Some sort of natural disaster rendered it uninhabitable. Okay, so... The descendants of Far Zenith escaped a dying planet. And now they want to claim Earth for themselves? Not their descendants. What? Not their descendants. It, it, it's them. The same ones who left Earth a thousand years ago. You didn't know? How can they still be alive? They don't even look... What did they do to themselves? I believe it's a combination of pharmaceutical, cellular treatments, and technological implants. And, and you? Does that mean that you are... I'm not like them. I was made. On the way to Earth. On the ship. I spent years studying in my training interface. All so that I could serve my function. Access and control of the terraforming system. But why? What do the Zeniths want with it? When I discovered the Zero Dawn system had disseminated into its subcomponents, I thought my purpose was to fix it. But I don't think the Zeniths want that at all. I think they want to wipe Earth clean and start over. You said you were born on the way to Earth. In an artificial womb, I'm guessing? The Zeniths had an ectogenic chamber aboard the ship. An updated version of the one you found me in. They must have used a stored sample of Elizabeth's DNA. I doubt Elizabeth would have let them take her DNA. Do you know how they got it? That wasn't part of the archive I was allowed to access. All right, I think that's enough for now. Do you want to come upstairs or... So how long? You know, your, your, your plan. How long before Gaius fabricated a machine army to defeat the Zenus? How did you know optimal strategy, so? Well, I still have to get two more subordinate functions before Gaius is powerful enough to absorb Hephaestus. What? You don't have Hephaestus already? Gaius is still figuring out how to capture it. It's not confined to a single- To a single location, of course not! You didn't even know who the Zenus really are. You were supposed to be further along by now! Coming here was a mistake. They're gonna find me. They're gonna find this place and take me back. This was all for nothing. They're not going to find us. Guy is using Minerva to mask our location. What difference does it make? You're too far behind. We're never going to beat them. Everything. Everyone. I'm gonna die. Hey. Calm down. You're here now, right? So is there anything you can do to help? I have certain knowledge sets. And given your state of progress, expertise you probably lack. Geoengineering, of course. Computer science, physics, biology, chemistry. Okay. Well, see if you can do something with that. Talk to Gaia. I'll check on you later. How'd it go? Her injury's not that bad. But I think she regrets coming here. Feeling might be mutual. Hmm. I'll come back later and talk to her. See if I can learn anything. I should get the weapon fragment to Gaia. See, we have a new guest. So now we know the origin of the transmission. Yeah. I also recovered this. The weapon it was part of somehow stripped a zenith of its shield, but it malfunctioned and blew up. If we can recreate the weapon and improve it, maybe we'll gain the upper hand on the zenith. A moment. I will scan it. Complete. By combining the results with data from your focus, I can infer that the weapon was highly advanced, comparable to Zenith technology, but not how it worked. Did the explosion corrupt the data? It was only a catalyst. The moment the weapon malfunctioned, it appears a command executed. 
to purge all data within its core. Ostensibly, this was to prevent the weapon's secrets from falling into enemy hands. Whoever designed this weapon knew how to cover their tracks. Silence. Based on your data on him, that is my conclusion as well. And he's not gonna cooperate with us. Well, it was worth a shot. But that's not all. The Zenus got Aluthia, along with Artemis and Apollo. That is unfortunate. However, our original plan remains unchanged. The two remaining subordinate functions should increase my heuristic processing density enough to absorb Hephaestus. Right. One problem at a time. Well, I guess I better get back out there. I wish you luck on your search. Right. Thanks, Gaia. So I guess we won't be making use of Cylon's weapon. And now there is another clone of Elizabeth here with us. Can't let it distract me. I still have two more sub functions to get. the outlander who stood against Regala and her rebels. Only if it means we're good here. Don't worry. I'm not here to drink your blood, or whatever you Easterners think we do. The slaughter at the embassy wasn't your fight, yet you stood by the Martians and by our chief at the Grove. As far as I'm concerned, you're no enemy of the Tanakh. But you are going to need help if you plan on surviving the clan land. I hear and see many things as a scout. I could share them with you, aid you on your journey. I'd be grateful. Well then, you might want to gear up if you're heading into Utaru territory. Rebels have been raiding settlements all over the plains. Though I hear the village of Riverhem up north has been giving them quite a fight. Thanks for the advice. are using machines, those Utaru might need some backup.
honorable paint that. Stay alert, soldier. I can't. Don't buy. Check it out. Thanks. Sound like rebels. Maybe if I follow their tracks, I can find my little hidden. was wound up tighter than a twisted now. spring. She didn't have to hit me. Well, she... Now she's in the wild, all alone. Forge knows all the things that could kill her out there. Someone ran off? Never got her name. Kept quiet. Couldn't tell if she was shy or scared. All I know is she didn't want anyone near her things. That's for sure. I was just curious is all. She didn't have to slug me. Your glass jaw ain't the problem, Lugnut. The girl is. All alone in the bush? And this is Tanakh territory. Which way did she go? West, up the slope. Look for her if you can. I will. Careful now. The girl's maladjusted. Like we have company. Must be closing out on the signal. Are you lost? Spark to steal. Aren't you a jewel in a junk heap? Excuse me? Hold the hammer. I know you. You're that Nora. <laughs> the savior. My savior. Right in the nick of time. The name's Poor Guff Delvesman. Chief Delver and leader of Poor Guff's expeditioners and purveyors of fine Delveware. What am I saving you from, exactly? Death and despair, my steel flame friend. See, this grand expedition here has had a, a minor setback. Not far from here, there's a secret tunnel. A passage of the old ones, lost and then found. Me and half the crew came through first. The other half was supposed to follow right after. But days later, only one man turned up, shivering like a frog in chill water. Only thing we got out of him was that death and darkness chased them as the tunnel collapsed died with his eyes wide, he did. Got the rest of the crew spooked. They're refusing to press on with the Delve until they're assured a way out of here. You lost half your crew and you're worried about the Delve. We gotta make their sacrifice worth something, right? And besides, now that you're here, maybe our sand-stranded days are over. 
Help me get that tunnel reopened, and I'll cut you in on the Delvis fee. What do you say? I'll see what I can do about the tunnel. <laughs> My savior. For the crew trapped here with you, not your Delph. One and the same. That it? Over there? That it is. Oh, and while you're at it, would you mind keeping an eye out for my lockbox? The second crew was supposed to bring the rest of the supplies and belongings. I'd hate to lose it to the wilds. It was hand-carved by my dear old ma. I'll bring it back if I find it. I'd appreciate it. Good luck, Still Flame. Have I got news for you, Red? It's turning a lot of dust. I bet it stings. That tall neck looks damaged. I should take a closer look. This looks like Oswald here. What are they doing here? That doesn't look good. I should check it out. Machines got to this one, too. System needed. So it over. down that tall neck. I 
bet a ballista can help me fight these machines. Another ballista. And it's got one of the anchors I need. One more should bring it down there. Machines. I need to hurry. I already attached an anchor here. I need to look for more in the area. That weapon still has an anchor. Let's use it.
guy. Not enough handholds to climb those legs. There must be another way. Must be the ruins of Las Vegas. Poseidon shouldn't be far. said this is where I'd find Poseidon, but the ruins out here are exposed to the elements. But a lot of them are buried in the sand. So maybe Poseidon is underground. If that's true, I might be able to find a way down through one of these structures. Water's pouring out of that building. What's Simon's doing? I've got to check it out. Camping here. Looks like there's. Maybe. Not, not to the embers. 
M Moreland, it's over. Well, not for me, it's not. Then you're going to die alone because we're not sticking around to fish out the corpse. We're through. And so the visionary's fate hung in the balance. Would he choose life or succumb to deadly delusion? <clears throat> Hello. So, there's an ancient city under the sand, but it's flooded. Suddenly, a Nora spear maiden appeared. Yeah, okay. Um. Well, you're not typical Delvers. That's for sure. Someone's been through here. What's this? Uh, I, I call it a diving bubble. This is the Mark I. The Mark II was better, but uh, it got stuck halfway down. Air tube snagged. You went down in that. Yeah, I hardly expect a lay person to understand. Because that's pretty smart. Uh, I'm sorry. May I remind you, you got stuck inside and nearly drowned. It'd have to be portable, though. Mm. Machine kneecap, maybe? Well, you'd need a filter. Synthetic membrane would do it. With a hose to a compressed, compressed air, air capsule, cap. hammer, and tongs. What is this? What is happening here? What? Get over here. She's a stranger. You got a name? Aloy. Moreland. Not a stranger anymore. You're a damn fool. Come on. I got the original schematics over here. Oh, um. Well, hold on. Just a couple of questions first. Fair enough. Partner? Partner? Don't mind him. I'd better get after those parts. There's a fully intact compressed air capsule in the Mark II, but like I said, it's stuck in the shaft. If you made it back up alive, I should be able to swim down that far. All right. As for the other parts, Stemmer scouted a herd due south of here that should have what we need. I'm on it. About the Delph. Uh, Moreland, I'm not interested in salvage. Whatever you find below is yours. Great. I'll come back when you get the gear. Good hunting. <laughs> air capsule. Now, to get all the machine parts. Probably get a, I'll guess list of 50. <laughs> so, we'd need some, uh, at least three dozen kegs. <laughs> Brown ale, maybe. Uh, no, no, for him, scrappers up. Are you planning a party? Budgeting for Moreland's funeral. Thanks to you. I was this close. We were going to move on. Leave all this nonsense behind. Then you come along. Ah, you spark your wet noodle idea. It's going to work. I've heard that before. I'll leave you alone. Do us a favor. Leave us all alone. According to Moreland, the herd should be south of here. Did 
drone. It must be part of Cyclops. If I can get its data, I can reconnect it with the dome back at the base. Now it's how to get up there. have moved on. I need to pick up their trail. Better look for tracks. There. Tracks should lead me to the herd. the herd. I should have the parts I need. Machines. I gotta deal with them first. Going down.
one. Looks like the herd's caught between those sand spirals. I could use that to my advantage. It's caught between those sand spirals. I could use that to my advantage.
I should check if one of these machines has an intact membrane. One synthetic membrane. Better check the other machines. One of them might have a kneecap I can... The kneecap? Good. I should have all the parts to build this thing now. Better get back to Moreland. What can I do for you, partner? I've got everything I need to build the... Uh... The incredible diving mask. I think diving mask is enough. I won't quibble. The workbench is all yours. a marvel. If it works, you'll let me try it? There's a very special salvage I want down there. Assuming I don't drown. So what are you really looking for down there? It's hard to explain. Something that caused a malfunction in the apparatus that controls the old city. I think it started the flood. Well, I, I thought we started the flood. Like we sprung a trap. I don't know how we were detected. But suddenly, the dancing lights around us changed. Lights? What do you mean? Images in the air, sparked by the embers, the salvage I'm after. Tiny hologram projectors? At first, 
There were lots of images. Women and, and coins and foodstuffs. And then, suddenly, they turned. Nautical. Waves. Fish. There was this flash of red. And the roar of water surging in. Wait, a flash of red? A, a red light. From a spot uh, near the grate on the floor where the water burst through. It was like a beacon. Or a warning. Thanks. That might help. I hope it does. And good luck down there. Okay. Time to see if this thing works. So far, so good. I can actually leap down here. The mask seems to be holding up. I've never been able to swim this deep before. Monocle lights. It must be Poseidon's doing. That looks like a way out. Poseidon's down here, somewhere. Gotta find where it's hiding. Whoa! Big machine. There's no way I can fight that thing underwater. I'll have to be careful. This place is massive. All of it's encased in a dome. door before the machine spots me. controls offline. To execute an emergency purge, manual reset of primary and secondary pump nodes is required. The purge can then be triggered at the pump maintenance station. If I do this purge and drain all the water, I can fight that big machine on dry ground. Looks like I have to reset a couple of pump nodes first. According to the map, there should be an access point for the first node south of here. Oh, 
machines down here. I'll have to swim around them. Stick to cover. Where's the access point? Where do we need the pump node? Look at these tunnels down here. Water lines for an entire city. I can't reach the ledge from here. Maybe there's something I can climb to get out. down. Better swim back up and find the access point for the second node. the map, the second node should be on the other side of the gun. My stash later. I won't budge. Maybe that debris is weighing it down. Taking care of those things. Now I just need to activate the emergency power to the maintenance station. According to the map, the maintenance station should be at the south end of the dome. the maintenance station. What? How to get in? It looks like part of this building collapsed. There might be a way in. Okay, let's see where this leads. Interesting. It's 
green like Blaze, but... I think I'm in the maintenance station now. I just gotta find a console to activate the emergency purge. Did it? <laughs> okay. Now I can deal with that machine guarding the door on the other end of the dome. And once I get past it, I can get to what's waiting on the other side of the door. Poseidon. I'll use the perch and get rid of all of the water. left these machines behind. I could sneak by them. Tell the big one front. This isn't going to do much.
Was this you? Did you lower the waters? Yeah, but there's a new problem. That thing's in our way. beheld the beast. They knew what they had to do. What? Are you crazy? Hush now. She saved our death. Okay, then. Stay up here and start firing when I engage.
Come on, gentlemen, get a move on! Somewhere below the sky. Time to bring it home. Poseidon should be hiding in some kind of processor. I need to find a console to gain access to it. There. I should be able to use that console. I'm here to bring you home, Poseidon. To Gaia. Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime. Master Override activated. Restoring the sign and subordinate function to original code. Okay. Gotta bring us back to Gaia. System reboot initiated. Looks like taking Poseidon triggered a restart of the city's power system. World and crew must have headed back up top. Probably in those they could carry, but that's it.
an elevator. Merlin must have built this before the place flooded. Nice to work. Just not to have to climb back up. Powered up the whole city. Is that an ego? How much did all this cost? How much? <laughs> oh. oh, the show my old gramps always wanted. There's another. <laughs> His dream his old Gramps' legacy ensured, our hero beheld the sea of desert lights and wept at his good fortune. When I saw the Embers as a child, I never dreamed they could be like this. Thank you, Aloy. Well, did you find what you were looking for? I did. And now I have to move on. Oh. Oh. Come back when you can. I got big plans for this place. I thought you wanted to put on shows with the Embers back in the claim. Oh, no. This is the show. Oh, can you imagine? Folks from all over the land coming to take it all in. Plus, some food and a nice place to stay. Not to mention a variety of entertainment venues. Uh, don't forget, games of chance. Plenty of shards to be had there for certain. <laughs> A new dream, huh? I, um, I hope you make it happen. Goodbye, gentlemen. This delve is a story for the ages. All thanks to you. Moreland and crew is gonna stay. Maybe I should come back and check on them later. For now, I need to get Poseidon back to Gaia. But I might want to find that Osram Tinker who's out on her own first. And with my new diving mask, I should be able to swim as deep as I want to. Once I find a place with more water. See you, champion. Sit, please. Choosing the right rations can be just as important to your chance of survival as choosing the right weapons. If you want food that'll save your life out in the wilds, go northwest to Salt Bite. The cook there, Pintala, she'll whip up a meal for anyone who needs it, to knock or not. I'll make sure to pay her a visit if I'm out that way. If you walk by, you'll miss out on a good trade.
Jackson. You would too. She can also crank out a whole army of machines to kick your sorry behind once she... Aloy. Hey, thought I'd, uh, check in on how you're doing. You mean, after meeting someone who looks exactly like you, but isn't you, down in the basement? Guess this must be even stranger for you than it is for us, huh? A little. <laughs> Varl said she may be able to help us in our mission, though. Maybe. There is something I'd like to discuss. It's about the land gods. If you have time, that is. You said you wanted to talk about the land gods? I think there's a way to heal them so that they'll once again provide plain song with grain. Gaia gave me a set of instructions. She called it, a uh, reboot code. If we deliver it to the land gods, their derangement will end. That's great. It may be. There are thorns on the path. Unless the code is given by Hephaestus, the land gods will reject it. Gaia showed me a way around this. We need components called control cores from machines made by Hephaestus. Machines similar to the land gods. You mean Grimhorns? Like the one we fought in the repair bay? Yes. Gaia helped me locate two of them out west. So, kill the machines, get the control cores, then use them to adapt the reboot code into something the land gods will obey? If all goes well, but taking down two Grimhorns won't be easy. We'll do it together. Bless you, Aloy. I'll send you the location of the machines. I need to get going. May the land bloom in your steps. Aloy, we've gathered some supplies in that chest. Take what you need. Welcome back, Aloy. I see you have recovered Poseidon. Can you come down? 
upstairs. Beta has something you need to hear. Okay. I'll be right down. Aloy, I have managed to unlock additional rooms within the facility. Got it. Anybody seen one of my machine strike pieces around? I don't think that door had power before, but looks like it's malfunctioning. Looks like some kind of maintenance space. of lights just turned on up here? Was that you? Oh. Huh. Hi! <laughs> Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. She found that recording from the data on your focus. She's been watching it a lot. I think it helps calm her. You know, I used to watch this a lot, too. Whenever I wanted to take my mind off things. Daddy sure does love his little big... But there's something you need to tell me? While you were gone, I came down here to check on her. Then we started talking. Right, Beta? She's been thinking about how to capture Hephaestus, studying the data Gaia gave her. But we started talking about some other stuff. You know, just getting to know each other, right? And then she told me that one of the Zeniths might be different from the others. Tilda. You saw her at the Hades Proving Lab. Go on. On the way to Earth, the Zeniths never showed their faces. My servitor caretaker referred to them as my benefactors and promised I'd meet them someday when I had learned enough. And then? One day, a data channel opened in my training interface. In it, Tilda was waiting for me in a virtual replica of a house on a cliff overlooking the ocean. It was beautiful. She showed me paintings, books, media files. We met there in secret many times. But a few months later, it stopped. Can you tell us why, Beta? I found some data about Tilda a while back. I think she knew Elizabeth Sobek. Maybe that's why she reached out to you? So Tilda set up a secret virtual space where she could talk to you, a house on a cliff. Then later, she cut you off. But other than the fact that Tilda knew Elizabeth, you don't know why she did those things? I don't, okay? I thought of every possible reason that would make her leave, but whatever I did wrong, I don't know what it is. When I finally met the others, she ignored me. Acted like the data channel never existed. None of this even matters. Tilda's the same as the others. It won't help us defeat them. Okay. Let's leave it at that, then.
What's wrong? I'm trying, Varl. But she is tough to take. I'm out there in the wilds, risking my life every day, and all she can do is hide in there and tell us how hopeless it all is. I'm sorry she's had a rough time, but she is really not helping right now. Hmm. You always seem to be on top of everything, so I sometimes forget about what you've been through. I mean, it wasn't that long ago you were so banged up you couldn't even walk. About that. When I pulled you out of the water back near the Proving Lab, you were muttering Rost's name. You never talk about him, but he raised you, trained you. You must miss him a lot. Of course I do, but I don't have time to think about that now. I need to get back out there. Okay. I'll keep working with Beta. Gaia says she knows a lot about Zero Dawn. And maybe she just needs some time to adjust, and then she can help us with Hephaestus. Sure. But I won't hold my breath. Sit with me, Outlander. I've got something to tell you.